Uh, very quickly, thank you for tuning in here to the next video here in my series. Um, quickly, we're going to start off with our sound source. Uh, it consists of a few different parts. Um, if you're confused about this part, check out one of my other videos. Um, here we are with our three parts that compose our sound. Um, we're going to add in very quickly here our multi-band processing. Um, you'll see as things move along very quickly, you can consult another video if you're confused about any portion of this. Um, now that we've got things split into multi-bands with a bypassing effect, um, we're going to need to throw in a lot more spider audio and mergers so that we have somewhere to pull the sounds from easily while leaving our dry sounds intact. As you can see, everything's pretty much the same here except for I have our spider audio split where I can pull things from. So quickly, we're going to add to the highs a little sizzle from our scream. Um, you can see how easy this is. We just pull it right out of the spider audio and drop it right in the mixer. The details here, I seem to move through pretty quickly, but that's because I've done this all before and I'm consulting uh, um, another project that's on a separate screen. So. I know kind of where to leave things. Um, on the lows, I want to squash it up quite a bit, so we'll pull in one of the new uh, Treats of Reason 6, the Pulverizer, and I'll do the same thing, pull it right out of the uh, Spider Audio, the low band, and drop it right into the mixer. Um, you can hear how that compares to the original sound and we'll pull that way down in the mix. Um, as you can see, I am leaving some of our previous signal there, which I believe is what you would call parallel processing um, with the multi-band signals. I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, on the mids here, we're gonna warm them up, and the high mids with our echo device. Um, the preset patch the chorus from the factory sound bank is pretty awesome. Um, a little rewiring here so that things make more sense. And a few final mix adjustments here at the end. Well, I hope you all were able to pull something out of this little quick tutorial series. Um, I've got a lot more things that I want to cover here in other videos, so uh, if you have specific questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, run with these ideas. <laughs>